Today in this video I'm going to show you how to install a new hard drive in your desktop PC. The hard drive of this machine is already damaged. I will install the new hard disk on this machine. So without wasting time let's start it. Hard drives are data storage devices that a computer uses to store a computer's operating system, applications, and files. You may want to install a hard drive on your computer to gain additional storage space or to replace a faulty hard drive. I will teach you how to install a hard drive in a desktop computer. Make sure you are able to install a new hard drive on your computer. If you want to install a second hard drive on your desktop PC, make sure it has an expansion slot that allows you to install a second hard drive. If you have an all-in-one PC monitor, make sure the hard drive inside the monitor is replaceable. Remove your computer panel. You need a screwdriver. Remove the side panel of the computer tower. You may need to remove both sides of the computer tower. My hard disk is totally damaged, and I will replace this hard drive with a new hard disk. I have an SSD installed for my system, and I have Windows 10 installed in it, so I don't have to install Windows separately if you install a brand new hard drive, you will need to install Windows 10 for example, I have an SSD or hard drive installed in Windows 10 installed in it. Remove the old drive and damage hard disk. If you are removing an old hard drive, make sure any and all cables are disconnected from both the motherboard and the power supply. If the hard drive is screwed in, remove all the screws. Insert your new drive. Place the hard drive in the hard drive slot the old hard drive was housed in, or the expansion slot for a new hard drive. Secure the hard drive. Once the hard drive has been inserted, use the screws that came with it to secure the hard drive in the housing. Ideally, you should use two screws on each side of the hard drive. If the hard drive is loose, it can rattle and cause more noise and lead to physical damage. Tighten the screws to a firm tightness, but don't over tighten as that may cause damage as well. Attach the drive to the motherboard. Newer hard drives will use SATA cables, which are thin and resemble USB cables. Use a SATA cable to connect the hard drive to the motherboard. SATA cables can be connected in either direction. If you are connecting your primary hard drive, the SATA cable should be plugged into the first SATA channel. This may be labeled SATA 0 or SATA 1. Refer to your motherboard. Documentation for detailed information for your motherboard. Connect the power supply to the hard drive. Most newer power supplies have SATA power. Connectors, though older power supplies typically only have Molex, 4-pin, connectors. If this is the case, and you are installing a SATA drive, you will need a Molex to SATA adapter. Ensure that none of the cables can come undone by wiggling them a little bit. Close up your computer. Replace the case sides and reconnect your cables if you had to. Move the case to work on the inside. Plug back in and turn back on your computer. You should hear the hard drive begin to spin. Up. If you hear beeps or any jarring noises, immediately turn off the computer and check the hard drive's connections, then follow me for how to create new hard disk partition after the computer is opened. To create and format a new partition, volume. I open my PC, and it shows that I only have one drive, the system drive C. To create a partition table, first right-click on PC and then click on Manage. In the left pane, under Storage, select Disk Management. Which partition you initialize like MBR partition or GPT partition. As I select the GPT partition table, the system automatically detects the type of partition you select. As detected by mine, right-click an unallocated region on your hard disk and then select New Simple Volume. In the New Simple Volume wizard, select Next. Enter the size of the volume you want to create in megabytes, MB, or accept the maximum default size and then select Next. Review your choices and then select Finish. Note. When you create new partitions on a basic disk, the first three will be formatted as primary partitions. Beginning with the fourth, each one will be configured as a logical drive within an extended partition. In this way, you will do step by step exactly the way I created the partition. If you want to see more videos like this on my channel, please comment below and don't forget to like, share and subscribe.